sometimes you get a list of names and they're not in the order that you want them. They might be last name first and then first name last and maybe you want to switch that around. To do that, what you need to do is firstly highlight the column of names, then move up to the data tab and click on text to columns. What this does is this splits up the words in there. So we'll just leave that as it is, delimited, go next. And we already have the option clicked here to split them up based on the, where the commas are. If I take that out, you can see that they come back to being together. Put the comma in, they get split up. If I wanted to split them even further, uh, say with these Chinese names where there are three parts, I could click on space as well. But for now, I'll just split them in half. Then if I click next and finish, they've now been split into two columns. To get them so that they're the other way around, so that I've got Amy Adams in the first um, cell, I start a new column over here and I need to put a little um, formula in and I'm going to use the function concatenate, which means to put together. So I type that in bracket and then I click on the cell that I want to go first, Amy, and then I click on the cell I want to go second. Now, this isn't going to work properly. I'll show you why. If I hit enter, you can see that it's mushed them together. I need to make sure it puts a space in there. So to edit this, I just uh, click up the top here and I'm going to put some speech marks in with a space in between and another comma. And that tells it to put a, um, a space in between the words. Now if I drag this down, I've got a column with the names in the order I want. You can take it a step further. Say if you wanted to generate uh, emails at an organisation where they all have the same email address just with their different name out the front. And I could do that by using using concatenate again. Concatenate. And then I'll put their names together. Amy, comma, oh, say if I had a um, underscore, for example, if that's what is used in your organization. And then the last name. And then I could put another set of speech marks and put the at symbol in. Um, and then just put the uh, address for your company or school or whatever and close those brackets and it makes it into an email address and then if I drag down on the corner here they've all got the email address I hope you find that helpful